Hi, welcome to Claire Bradley Yoga. Um, I'm here today to bring a little 10 minute energising sequence to, uh, to use at the start of the day or mid morning or mid afternoon, um, whatever takes your fancy when you want to bring a bit of energy into your day. So we're just going to start off um, on hands and knees. And just taking the knees quite wide and the hands quite wide and just having a little wriggle from side to side, backwards and forwards, just gently getting into the body, feeling into the body. And you can maybe draw circles, taking them one way and taking them the other. So just begin to move in a way that feels good for you. And maybe closing the eyes and just coming into your breath. Feeling the inhale and feeling the exhale and just checking in with yourself as you begin to move. So you can think of taking the weight back or bringing it forwards, but just generally having a little bit of a wriggle. It's a great way to assess how the body is feeling. And then coming to pause in the middle, just walking the knees in a little bit. So the knees are coming underneath the hips and feet tracking behind the knees, bringing the wrists underneath the shoulders. And we'll come into some cat cow. So we're going to drop the belly, bring the heart forwards, looking forwards as we're breathing in. As we breathe out, we're drawing the tummy up, rounding through the whole of the back, taking the gaze towards the knees. So inhaling to look forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, rounding through, looking towards the knees. So just taking a couple more rounds in your own time. Don't rush through it. You can close your eyes and try and feel each vertebrae all the way through your spine moving. Almost like the wave of the ocean as it comes in and out. And finding your breath. And the next time you exhale and you draw the tummy up and you take your gaze down, let the head be heavy. We're going to hold it here, so keep breathing and just give the head a little shake from side to side. Just releasing the neck. Let's see if you can draw the tummy up a little bit more, really rounding through the whole of the back. And then releasing it, just taking an inhale, dropping the belly to the forwards. Maybe just pausing here, keep breathing, just give the hips a little shake and the shoulders. And then sending it back. So just coming to a neutral spine, tabletop position, and then send the hips back to the heels and bring the chest and the head down to the floor. And reach the hands out in front. So keeping the fingertips on the floor, lifting the arms away. So really grounding down through your fingers reaching through, just getting a stretch through the arms and then releasing the hands down to the ground, bring them underneath your shoulders and just push yourself up. So we're just going to take the knees as wide as your yoga mat and bring the big toes together and again we're just going to sink it back so bringing the chest down towards the floor but as we come down we're going to walk the hands over to the right side so the chest comes in direction of that leg and then just gently lean down towards that leg and try and reach out through your right arm and then through your left. So really finding length and focusing into the area between your hips and your ribs, seeing if you can find a little bit of length, particularly on the left side. And then coming up, we'll just walk the fingers over to the other side as you come to lie over the left leg in the direction of the left leg. Trying to keep your right hip heavy and then really focus on finding space between that space between the hips and the ribs. Coming back to centre and then to walk the hands out just bring the chest and the forehead down to the ground and just see if you can release a bit of tension in the hips. And then slowly you're going to push yourself up to hands and knees. So making sure the knees are hip distance apart again. I'm going to walk your hands out in front, keeping the arms straight if you can. 
and bring them to the edge so the little fingers are at the edge of your yoga mat and your middle finger is pointing forwards. So you really push into your thumb and your first finger, really grounding through the hands. And then we're going to tuck the toes underneath, send the hips back, and so we then push into the toes to lift the hips up to the sky. And then think of bending your knees to send the hips back towards the back of your yoga mat. So coming up into our downward facing dog. So you really push down into your hands and see if you can draw the shoulders away from the ears and think of turning the armpits in towards one another. So this helps to spread the shoulder blades across the back. And then start to bring some gentle movement into the knees. Bending one knee and the other, all the while lengthening, pushing into the hands to lengthen the spine. Taking a breath and finding some sternness. We're going to root down through the left foot, lifting the right foot up behind you. And point and flex the toes a little bit. And then we're going to bend that knee, and then as we lift the right knee out to the side, lifting it up, we're going to try and stack the hips. So this right foot is going to come over almost as if you were going to touch the left side of your hips. So you're opening out to the side, trying to keep the hips, the shoulders level. Oh, and then bringing it back out behind, leveling off the hips. If you want to, you can draw that knee underneath you, in towards your chest as you shift the weight of your shoulders over your wrists. And then send it back out behind you. Nice long leg and then replacing that foot to the floor. We'll take it to the other side. In a second, we'll just lower the knees to the floor. Just release your wrists so that you can keep, keep good form, good foundations on the other side without getting too tired into the wrists. So when you're ready, so arms are out in front, fingers are spread nice and wide with the middle finger pointing towards the top of your mat, you'll tuck the toes and lift the hips up, send them back into your downward dog. So this time, just rooting through the right foot, so into the ball of that foot and the toes. Don't, you're not aiming to get the heel down on the floor, so just a nice, good foundation. So we'll lift the left foot up behind you, bending that knee, and we open the hips to the side. So as the left leg comes over, with the left heel reaching towards your right hip. And then see if you can level off your hips and breathe here. And then bringing that hip level, straightening that leg out. We're gonna draw that knee underneath the chest as the shoulders come over the wrist, squeezing in. See if you can lift the heel up towards your bum a little bit more. And then send it back out. And lower that foot to the ground into your downward dog, looking towards your hands. We're going to step up to the front of our mats, coming into a forward fold. So give the wrists a nice release here, and we can take a hold of the elbows, keep the knees soft, and let the head be heavy, the head neck a little shake, a little sway from side to side. Find some stillness. Rest in the hands, on the shins, the feet, or the floor. And then slowly, slowly, we're going to rise it up, keeping the chin tucked in. Head comes up last of all. And we get there, just giving the shoulders a little shrug. So feeling down into your feet, you can close the eyes. Feeling the length of your body. Feeling the ground beneath you. Finding your breath. And then blinking the eyes open. So stay facing the top of your mat and we'll bring the hands into prayer in front of the heart. But inhale, reach the arms up, looking up towards the fingers and exhale, bring the hands in. So inhaling, reaching up and exhale, bringing hands back to your heart. And once more, really reach wide, reaching high, looking all the way out to your fingers. This time we'll hold them up there. We're going to interlace the fingers, but then point the index finger. So keep looking up to the hands. And see if you can find space through the side of your body. So think of finding space between the hips and the ribs. 
and then we're going to bring those hands down and in front and then reach the arms wide and bring them up again. So interlacing the fingers, bringing the gaze forward this time and seeing if you can bring the arms alongside the ears or behind the ears, if the shoulders will allow. If this isn't comfortable in your shoulders, you can go for, a, imagine you're holding a beach ball. And then we're just gonna gently tip it over towards the right side, really push into your left foot, finding that space in the side of your body bringing it up and taking it to the other side coming back and doing it once more on each side coming back to center break the arms free give the shoulders a little shrug and then we'll just gently twist from side to side and as you begin to take it from side to side you can take the hip the feet wider than hip distance, begin to have a good wide stretch of the arms, let everything be loose. You might find that as you go, the arms begin to hit the hips or the arms. So just let everything be soft, taking your gaze with you as you turn. Let's take a couple more on each side, slowing down the movement until you come back to center. The shoulders a little shrug, the legs a little shake. Okay, so we're just gonna finish um, with some half salutations, which is a really great way to bring space into the whole of the body, so the front, the back, and the side. So we'll inhale, reach it up, look towards the hands, and as you exhale, push the air away. So take the arms wide as you dive it forwards, coming into a forward fold. From there, we're going to draw the hands up the legs. So the palms come to rest on the thighs as you find a halfway lift. So the upper body is parallel to the floor. Draw the shoulders away from the side, from the ears. And see if you can bring the, the front body up to meet the back body. So getting a really strong spine. And exhaling to send it down. Pushing into the feet. We take the arms wide as we rise up. Looking up to the hands. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. So we'll repeat that once more, inhaling up, exhaling, diving it forwards, finding a halfway lift, and exhaling, sending it down, pushing into the feet, arms go wide as you rise up, looking up to the hands, we'll just hold it there for a moment, you can interlace the fingers, point that index finger, and then slowly lower, hands down to your heart. And just allow the eyes to close, feeling down into your feet, feeling through the whole of your body, and just coming back to your breath, finding the inhale, and finding the exhale. So we come to the end of our practice. So just coming back to your breath feeling the energy that you've created in your practice today and knowing you can add on or take away whatever feels right for you in this moment. So thank you for practicing with me. It's, I hope you have a really great day. Namaste.